Welcome to your daily dose of Sunday School, episode 42. We're looking at Scripture Alone with James White. And the last church father that we want to look at, his view of Scripture, and the most important would be St. Augustine. There's no more important theologian in the history of the church. Some have said that the Reformation was the battle between Augustine's view of salvation with his view of the church. Uh, he is heavily quoted by and adored by Roman Catholics. He is heavily quoted and adored by uh, Protestants, especially uh, Calvinists. And uh, But Augustine had a very we can say, Protestant view of the scriptures. So we'll look at his quotes today. Let us not hear this I say, this you say. This person's view, that person's view. Thus says, but thus says the Lord. Surely it is the books of the Lord on whose authority we both agree and which we both believe. There let us seek the church. There let us discuss our case. Let those things be removed from our midst, which we quote against each other, not from divine canonical books, but from elsewhere. So, let's hear from the Lord and anything else. If we're going to debate, let's take that out. Let's get down to what God has actually said. Someone may perhaps ask, what do you want to rem <clears throat> Sorry. Why do you want to remove these things from the midst because I do not want the holy church proved by human documents but by divine oracles how different is that than the Roman Catholic view we want God's word as the proof whatever they may adduce and wherever they may quote from let us rather if we are his sheep hear the voice of our shepherd Therefore, let us search for the church in the sacred canonical scriptures. Neither dare one agree with Catholic bishops, if by chance they err in anything, with the result that their opinion is against the canonical scriptures of God. So, not even the bishop should change your mind if you're standing on scripture. That's true. Scripture has to prove all things. Everything has to be tested by Scripture. Just like the Bereans who tested the apostles' preaching on Scripture. Now that we have the fullness of Scripture, we test everything by it. And we'll skip one quote for an even better one. What more shall I teach you than what we read in the Apostle? For Holy Scripture fixes the rule of our doctrine lest we dare to be wiser than we ought. Therefore, I should not teach you anything else except to expound to you the words of the teacher. In this case, the teacher being the scripture. So, you want to have doctrine. It's, it's based on scripture. It doesn't say base it on the church, as we've already seen. Here's another quote. If anyone preaches either concerning Christ or concerning his church or concerning any other matter which pertains to our faith and life, I will not say if we, but what Paul adds, if an angel from heaven should preach to you anything besides what you have received in the scriptures of the law and the gospels, let him be anathema. That's a, a powerful statement. So if someone preaches something other than what is in the, he says the law and the gospel, Old and New Testament. If anyone preaches anything aside from that, let him be cursed. That's a powerful statement. Here's another quote. For though the Lord Jesus did many such acts, let all of them Yet all, sorry, yet all of them are not recorded just as this same St. John the Evangelist himself testifies. So, not every act of Christ was recorded. 
that Christ the Lord both said and did many things that are not recorded. But such were chosen for record as seemed to suffice for the salvation of believers. So what was recorded was what we needed for salvation. We don't need anything that was kind of separate from what the apostles wrote down. God decided it's sufficient. It's this is enough. You don't need anything else. Okay, that is very, very much the view that I've been trying to to show you. It's nothing new. It's nothing that the reformed uh, made up. So you don't have, you know, the immaculate conception of Mary, this Roman Catholic idea that she was perfect. She was born perfect. Um, you don't have that because it wasn't recorded. It needs to be in. God gave us what we needed to believe in the scriptures. So, uh, you know, feel confident that even though these truths were obscured during certain periods of the church, God has always had his people who have been, um, has always had his people who have been taking refuge in his word. And you should do the same.